Ben Spry fan from Sport Bike Track Gear, sportbiketrackgear.com. Today we're going to do a two part video review on an incredible technical riding jacket from Scorpion Exowear. This is the XDR Commander jacket. Let's start off with sizing first. I'm 5 feet 11 inches tall, about 200 pounds, with a mildly athletic build. I am wearing a size extra large in the Commander. This jacket has the outer shell. It has a waterproof, windproof liner, which is removable, and then it also has a full quilted sleeve and vest liner. That liner's in the jacket as well. Let's give you an idea of what it fits me like. Give you a 360. There's front, side, sleeve length is solid, okay? Back, I'd like to point out the motion panels sewn into the jacket here in the back. Ryan, if you can kind of get a shot of those working. We also have similar motion panels to that, sewn into the elbows. There are a tremendous amount of features and benefits with this jacket. It's absolutely incredible. I think this is designed for someone that refuses to let Mother Nature get in the way of a good motorcycle ride. It's built to be good at temperatures from 35 to 85. And that would be, you know, removing liners as you get up in heat, of course, okay? You'll notice here some of the real unique things is you have built into the, the breathable waterproof liner, there's a gator cuff, okay? So that means when you've got your all-weather glove on, it's going to be sealed up here perfectly, okay? You're not going to have any wind intrusion. It's not going to get wet. You're not going to get cold. I mean, this the jacket's concept here is to be able to deal with the worst of the worst. I'll show you some of the details here on the coat. Even at the trim on the cuff, a little rubberized detail. Cool Scorpion logo right there. Let's show you the protection. They use a heavier denier nylon in the elbows and in the shoulders as well. Okay, The jacket has CE certified Sostec armor in the elbows and the shoulders. It's good stuff. This is a very protective coat. Cool Scorpion logo there. We have some Night Viz reflective material there. It's the kind of stuff that at night when the headlights hit it, it pops. It makes you really visible. On the theme of visibility, this jacket's available in a couple of different colors. Okay, the one I have on right now is the high-vis yellow. This has been the most popular one. Let's just say if somebody can't see you coming in this jacket, they probably shouldn't be driving a car. I mean, this high-vis stuff has been really popular over the course of the last two seasons. Scorpion even has a helmet that's done in this color that's sold very, very well for us. Get back to the features and benefits of the jacket. Something that we've noticed, and I'm not quite sure why this is this way. We are sport bike specialists here, but nevertheless, the three buttons here, here, and here, as well as the buttons on these pockets, are rubberized on the outside. I'm not sure if that makes it easier to get them undone or if it's something with contact against the motorcycle to keep it from getting scratched. You know, the buttons higher up are metal. Just thought I'd mention that. I'm sure there's somebody out there that knows the reason to that. Storage pocket here. It's the same on both sides. It's going to be a weather-resistant pocket. Undo the snaps and the Velcro. Pull it up. Zip it open. There is your pocket right there. Like I said, this is a mirror image. Right to left. More storage here. On the outside here at the breast. Undo it. This one does not have a zipper. Just the Velcro closure. Right there is another storage pocket, and I believe there's a, I can feel the clip in there for an ID holder, okay? That's something that's available separately from Scorpion. Reflective material here. More storage right there. Waterproof zip here. More storage. That's going to be water-resistant storage right there, okay? Ventilation. There are two vents, waterproof zippers up here on the chest, in the arms of the jacket. We have large zip open vents right there, okay, kind of in the elbow area and the forearm. Adjustments for the sleeves. See these big hook and loop style adjusters, cool rubberized detail here. This looks like it'll stand the test of time, and these are really key. The adjustments on this jacket are key. Because like I said, I'm wearing an extra large with both liners in it right now. 
If I remove both liners and choose to ride with only the shell, it dramatically alters the way the jacket fits for sure, and you need to be able to take up that slack somewhere. These two arm adjusters, and then the incredible adjustment they have here on the torso, okay, allows you to make this jacket fit as it should. And we're going to detail that as we go into part two, okay? Up and down the front of the coat here, snapped. And that brings us up to our storm collar. The storm collar velcros over. It is removable. We're going to do that when I take the jacket off. And you can see that it still has a fairly high collar even with the storm collar gone. The storm collar is trimmed in some very soft fabric. Okay, It'll be washable. I mean, let's face it, if you have it closed, you're going to be breathing into it quite a bit. You're going to want to take it off and wash it. It's nice they give you the option to easily remove this and reinstall it on the jacket. Last snap there, grab a hold of the zipper. It's got that real nice ergonomic Scorpion EXO zipper pull. Zip down your main zip. That's going to expose the zipper now for the waterproof liner. Undo the Velcro. They don't use a waterproof zipper on the waterproof liner. They find it better to use overlapping material and then kind of a little dam right here. Get your Velcro undone. Grab a hold of your zipper. Zip it down. Let's grab a hold of the other cuff here. Undo that. And let's get the jacket off and have a look from the inside out. And the back as well. Back of the jacket. We have right here on the top, we have a large exhaust vent. And this doubles, okay, this doubles as a storage pocket for hydration pack. The hydration pack can slip down in here. And then the tube of it will come out the top right here, goes over the shoulder, and it can hook to this point right here, so you can have your hydration right with you up at the front of the jacket. Cool Scorpion logos here, nice rubberized detail there, more reflective piping here. I showed you the expansion panels on the shoulders. We have here at the base of the jacket a large storage pocket. This is going to be weather resistant. Undo the Velcro. Zip it open, and there is another weather resistant storage. That's a large weather resistant storage pocket there. For the waist adjuster, or the torso adjuster, I'd like to point out there is a slot here that you can slide the straps in, whatever excess strap you have, slide it up inside so you don't have the strap kind of flapping in the breeze. Nice touch for sure. The waist of the coast, there's a couple of zippable gussets. They use a nice YKK locking zipper there. That is also a nice touch. Mirror image of that on both sides of the jacket. To remove the storm collar, it zips all the way around. Okay, grab a hold of the zipper, zip it all the way around. Brian, if you want to zoom in a little bit on that, just kind of give an idea of what it's made out of. Got some padded trim here. Okay, soft like microfiber to go against the skin. And like I said, I think you could easily wash this separately with no worries. Casting that to the side, let's give you a look at the jacket from the inside out. The first liner that you're looking at is going to be our quilted vest and sleeve liner. You'll see that it also incorporates Scorpion's Quick Wick moisture wicking material. Big section of that down the center of the liner. It works to move the moisture away from your body, just keep you more comfortable when you're riding and it's getting warm out. What we're going to do now is we've just got a short period of time left in this first segment. We're going to stop here and then we're going to come back with part two where I'll remove both the liners and show you how it alters the fit of the jacket as you go.